Hey guys, Shay here, and welcome to Check It. Downwell. Now, Check It's gonna be a new series that, well, I've started. I haven't told the other guys about it yet. But, uh, basically it's gonna be used for games that we enjoy playing, but we don't really feel warrant a series, so kind of the things we pick up to do in our spare time, and Downwell is definitely a game I pick up to do in my spare time. It's this interesting, uh, little action-adventure, roguelike platformer by Devolver Digital. So I'm just gonna get right into it. Now we'll go with the usual style. Alright, now it's an interesting platformer where I'm already dying. Um, you travel straight downward, there's almost no sideways movement. As the name suggests, down well. It's lots of downward movement. You have what are called gun boots, if I remember correctly, which you use to shoot everything in sight, and they only recharge when you land. These gems are kind of used as the currency, and I believe that when you get a gem high, it increases your damage and a couple other things. The game itself, the game really doesn't explain much about itself. What is this? Puncher. It's a new kind of gun. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Now, I've always been a fan of roguelike games, if you've watched any of my, uh, Binding of Isaac games. Uh, and I play other roguelikes, such as, um, Pixel Dungeon on Android devices, and now on the computer as well. I played a lot of that. Um... Something about them just appeals to me. The idea that, uh... Once you die, that's it. You start over. Which is something I've always thought was interesting. So, between every level, I get to choose an upgrade. Getting gems, recharges, gum boots. That's really nice. Jetpack for use. Went out of charge. Shops at cert plus 10% discount. Gem powered! Let's go with that one. Alright. Now, there's two ways you can kill enemies. Either by jumping on them or by shooting them. Some enemies have to be shot, and some enemies have to be jumped on. But all enemies, if they touch you anywhere but your boots, really hurt. Some of them, even if they touch you, they boots you. Like those spiky guys right there. Gems, gems for days. All right. Forever downward. Oh jeez. Don't want to go down too fast. Gotta get them gems. Oh, I did not realize my health was low. I'll go ahead and play again. Now, Alex, Axel. Never know what to call him. Um, Axel plays a lot of this game as well. Uh, he's actually played a lot more of this game than I have. But uh, it's the kind of game that when I have a little bit of downtime, you just kind of pick it up and play it a few minutes at a time, and then put it down, back down. I have a couple games like that. Like uh, I've recently been playing through after watching Jack Septicai play it. Uh, Papers, please, which is a lot of fun. I might do a series on that. I'm not sure. other series that I need to continue, such as the Binding of Isaac series, and my recently started FTL series, which I recently messed up and have to start over, because I thought I was recording, and it turns out I wasn't, so I got half an hour of audio, and no footage to go with it, and a save file that I can't revert backwards. I am very close to death. This is not good. Ooh, what's in here? Yay, help! Yay, I keep my puncher. Oh wait, no, I lost my puncher. New round. Yay, the puncher! Alright. Getting gems causes a bullet to shoot up. Creates time void when damaged. Jetpack freeze when out of charge. 
I'm gonna try this, because I've never fallen far enough to take a ton of damage, but... Oh, that's interesting. One thing, interesting thing about this game is that, for the most part, once you, uh... Once you go down, you can't move back upward. That's it. So this is a shop, so I can spend some of my hard-earned gems. Let's get some charge. So yes, having not gotten terribly far in this game, I really can't tell you there's much more to it than just this. But, uh, we'll see if I get a decent distance in this playthrough. Hello, Mr. Fog. And Bat. And whatever you are. Jellyfish? I don't know. Into here. What are you? Shotgun. Man, that really consumes my shot. Rest in pieces. Shooting dead bodies causes them to explode. Um. More upgrade upgrades to choose from and plus one HP. Yes, please. More health is always good. Oh, and immediately losing more health. Excellent. Exactly how I wanted to start this game. Ooh, a shop. Plus one charge. Well, let's get an HP back and we'll get plus one charge. what all these enemies are. These are like jellyfish. Those are freaking eyeballs. Ooh. Not sure why that's an ooh. Well, for me, considering I played the bunch of eyes, I can Oh, this is not good. Health, please. Machine gun. You're not health. I need health. Ugh. Him fly into my bottom. Not like that. Oh, no, no. No! Damn it. Well, I made it further that time. Ooh, and I got a new pallet. So that's another thing. You can, uh. You can unlock what are called pallets, which is basically just. A color scheme for the game. So I've got this, pastel, matcha, aqua, G-boy, and V-boy. I'm gonna play with the Game Boy palette. And go away, bat. No! It's a hole of pain! Ugh. Laser? Laser. I like the laser. It seems like I'm being quiet. It's because I'm actually focusing on this. Despite its very simplistic look, it's kind of difficult. Because once you start falling, it's difficult to stop falling. Ooh! Ow. Oh, oh. So yeah, this game is available on Steam. Uh, it's pretty cheap. I discovered it through watching uh, other people on YouTube play it. I think it was Sips, a member of the Yogg's cast, that I watched play this. Lift off. Getting gems recharges gum boots. Yes, please. Wow, 
Wow, this pallet makes some of the gem containing blocks really difficult to spot. Oh, I should not have gone off after that turtle. Yeah. Yeah, let me change this palette. Let's go with Aqua. I like the Aqua palette. Screw you, frog. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, I missed all of them, of course. and immediately lose health out the door. Fantastic. Oh! What are you? Triple? Okay. Oh, nice. Kind of like shotgun, except a bit more uniform. I like uniform. Alright, making progress. Shoot a gun module to reshuffle it. Stomping on enemies causes a blast. Let's get the blast module. That poor frog. Die, turtle. Die, slime. Ooh. So you gotta be careful about sudden and rapid descents like that. Health? Uh, I guess that'll have to do. Oh no. This isn't good. Health! Oh, I'm not a fan of this gun style, though. It's kind of like spready and weird. Gems, gems, gems. Lots of gems to collect. It's a very simplistic game in terms of art, and especially in terms of color, considering you can choose the color palette, but I think that simplicity does it a lot of good, because I feel like if this had really good graphics, there would just be too much to handle, if that makes sense. Woo! Oh no! No! Ow! Okay, one more go. Let's see if I can beat my previous runs. Oh, already they're throwing really stupid things at me. Why? And I'm just being stupid in general, why? I get the feeling I'm not gonna be my previous run here, guys. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Beating previous run, not happening. More health. That's good. Alright. Longer state of invincibility when taking damage. Gem high lasts for longer duration. I like being invincible. That sounds good to me. Falling too fast! Oh, and I'm dead. Alright, I think that's enough of this. So, that was down well. Um, it's available on Steam. It's a lot of fun to just pick up for a few minutes, play, and then put down, see how you do compared to your previous tries. Um, 
But anyways, let me know what you guys think of this format down below. Um, if you guys have any ideas for games you want to see us play on Check It, um, let me know down below. We'll have a look at them, and if we enjoy them enough, we'll give them a try. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe. Get gems that apparently make you high. I don't understand why it's gem high. Whatever you're inclined to do to show your love. And I'll catch you guys next time. Hey guys, Shay here. And today I'm trying out... Well, I'm not trying out. I've played it before. But I'm playing Faster Than Light. It is a top-down spaceship crew strategy game where you jump from uh, planet to planet or world to portable, trying to uh, deliver a message. So, I'm just gonna go with the basic ship for now, because that's usually what I use. Um, we're gonna go with easy mode so that I don't die immediately and make it really boring. <laughs>